Tēnā koutou katoa, no mai haere mai ki kiri kiri roa, malo elele. Welcome and everyone as round five of the Bunnings NPC kicks off with one of the great traditional clashes of provincial rugby in Aotearoa. It's Waikato, it's against Auckland and it's the annual clash for the Stan Thomas Memorial Trophy. Not to mention some very important points in the Bunnings NPC. Into Auckland Territory. Quarter of an hour gone, still no score. Sullivan looking to lob one over the top. Good hands from Coombs Fabling, and here's Finau, the big flanker on the charge, lobs the ball back on the inside. Oh, it's been lost. Some desperate defence, and the ball is dislodged from the hands of Tupaya, or Tupaya Cook Savage. But that was a great run from big Sammy Penny Finau. Oh, it's gone side to side before this. I think every single player touched it, but look at the gas on San Petty Finau. Throws the roundhouse pass. He only had to hold on to the ball and he would have slid over. He did well. It's Pia Cook Savage. He's looked dangerous. That was Rayas. He comes all the way over. So still neither side able to land any sort of blow. Jackson Pugh, the Aussie, charging off the back, but concedes a penalty oh, he was out. Yeah, this will break the uh the deadlock of course i'm sure uh, but as you see there's a great run off the back good pace off the back of the scrum gets to 10 but to pass a sec just a little bit slow there and mitch jacobson he's so quick on the ball he's having a great npc yeah, yeah luke jacobson back in the all black side the test match on thursday of next week Midweek one. Damien McKenzie opens the scoring with the penalty. Browse, he wants quick ball. Standing start. Showing good strength in the tackle advantage of Sullivan. For the knock on. The referee was playing advantage. There was a little knock on. Now he's playing advantage for a penalty. And picking it up as Pew. Making good ground inside the 22. Carrying it on as AJ Lamb. Always hungry for work through the hands, Plummer, oh, gets a lovely ball away to choke, keeps it back in the inside, but the referee says as it falls into the hands of a Waikato player, we'll come back for the penalty. And an opportunity to level things up, and not going to miss at that range is Harry Plummer, it's three all in Hamilton. Okay, back, Blue waiting here, forwards, leave it, leave it guys, leave it. Plummer sending it high, but again, Tupaya Cook Savage able to take it cleanly and then show his great running style. He's got a good step and he's got searing pace. And he's put Waikato back on the attack. Tucker inside the 22. Rowers quickly there. Messam, nice ball on the inside. Jacobson in support. This is where Waikato look really good. They start to build momentum. Aiden Johnston, McKenzie now lobbing the pass over top. Marshall can set it up. And Sinkinson goes in for his fourth try of the season, first of the match. But look at this great little step from Spike Cook Savage bursting through the gap. And he did well here just to get back to support. And look at this overlap. Any one of three almost could have. Scored. Reese Marshall does a sensible thing. Draw a pass to Sinkinson. Well, they responded to the penalty. Can they respond to the try? Tuivasa check gets through the first tackle and sprints away. Roger Tuivasa check on the inside. What a great response from Auckland. There's a turnover off the kickoff. Out the back doors. Liam Messam shot out to get the spot tackle and got beaten on the outside. He had a lot of work to do with Jordan Trainer there to receive the inside ball from Tui Vastashek go in for a try. And the value of that kick evident now as Messam is taken right out in the middle. McKenzie weaving around and here's another elusive runner. Liam Coombs Fabling is going to cut them open. Oh yeah, just like that. Spots the gap, gets one opportunity, Kurt's Fabling, and he is gone. 
Zinni, I'm going to come up to you, please. I'd like to check a potential obstruction by 8 Red. I think it's this part here, guys. I mean, he did well to miss his tackle here, but just on Jordan Lay there. Uncle. Okay, so thanks, Zinni. I've got that. 8 Red gets up in the way of the potential Auckland tackler, preventing a potential tackle being made. So he's in the way. He's ahead of the ball, obstructing. So it's going to be a penalty here. Now Ray Arce slips through the first tackle, gliding ahead. Oh, great hands, but the pass was forward. Oh, boy, Jackson Pugh. He'll be disappointed because he came up with a corker of a sidestep to go over the line, but that pass was just forward. McKenzie, lovely pass into midfield. Coombs Fabling another one. Finau, now here's Simpkinson stepping, jinking, making play inside the 22. Waikato building nicely here. McKenzie, flat ball to Marshall, who makes another line break. He's had a wow of a first half, Reese Marshall. Now charging onto it is Cook Savage, and he's in. And that is an absolutely magnificent line. I think every player feeds it. This is the end of it. A nice short ball from Xavier Rowe. Picked them out nicely. And still had James Tucker screaming, give a pop off to me. And so at half time, a brilliant try by Tobias Cook Savage. The difference between the two teams scoring late in the half to give the home team and the unbeaten Waikato. 17-10 uh, lead over Auckland. And he's got Cook Savage away to the right, and that's the direction they're going. The referee's playing advantage. Stabbed through by Rowe. This is Auckland. Oh, it sits up beautifully. They're claiming the try. Coombs Fabling got after it. In fact, no, it was Sinkinson. And now just getting a little meaningful. Wait, separate, guys. Separate. Leave it. Uh, on field, held up. Goal line dropout. Uh, sorry, going back for the penalty, unless you can prove otherwise. Well, I certainly thought he got the bounce here. It's the second part here. AJ Lamb got underneath it, and then there's a twist, so this camera here should be able to see. It's sinking, So It'll be going back for the penalty. And that's, that's held up. It was that you that called this one yeah. And does he get it on the ground? Oh boy. There's a few mitts under there, I think. Maybe that last one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, just probably just touch the grass just then. Oh, I tell you, Auckland holding on by the skin of their teeth. Uh, Up go the flags. It's 20 to 10. <laughs> Patrick McCarran, you're not going to miss him, are you? Well, it's a good contest at the line now. Dalzell initially looked like he managed to get it, but they responded really well. The Waikato forwards. Kicks being charged. If it sits up, plumbers in. Auckland strike back. The charge down of the kick, and Harry Plummer goes in. You watch McKenzie's the man here. Plummer. Jeez, just bounces perfectly and no one will in queue. That's what you get when you pressure every moment. You take those 50-50s and it bounces your way. Well, that, it's not good technique at all from Auckland at the restart. They got very square on, didn't take it, and Waikato will get it back. And McKenzie, that's a better kick because it's Auckland. Oh, it's been bounced up, and they're in! McCarran scores! Patrick McCurran gets the first try of his career. There it is, a turnover off the kickoff, and I think it's a planned move. You can see Tobias Cook Savage coming from nowhere. It's nicely weighted. In fairness, it was a tough kick for Funaki to get, and it weighed between two players here. Like you said before, Rayasi and Funaki, who's got it, but Tobias Cook Savage, and what a ball to McCurran. Picking it up as Pew driven backwards in the tackle, and Hickey not much on really, so he has to kick. 
Awkward for Leor, trying to bat it back into a bit of space, and it sits up nicely. That was uh, Connor Vest coming through, but the penalty. Oh, Damien McKenzie, I think, getting in the middle of it yeah, there and winning was. the penalty, yeah. No, well, that's Coach Adam said. He had to be speed to that breakdown. And uh, they seem to be winning it in their second half, so that mess has gone through. If you're watching the replay here, good work getting it down. Vest going in here, but look how low that body position is, and he was really strong over that ball. Well, that's outstanding by Damien McKenzie. He got everything spot on. Damien McKenzie to make it 30 to 15. And that would make it terribly difficult for Auckland. He struck it pretty well here. Is it going to have the distance? Yes, it does. Great kick. Damien McKenzie wins the penalty, slams over the goal. And Waikato lead by 15 points. Cortez Ratima waiting to release it. Sullivan at first receiver, McKenzie. Well, he's barreled in the tackle, and now maybe a chance for Auckland right at the end. Here's Chuck on the charge. Ray Arce tracking up in support. And going into play halfback. Oh, Simon Hickey's pass has been picked off by Cortez Ratema and... Sorry, Balin, you're going to have to go all the way back. There was a knock-on, and in fact, it's a penalty. They were offside. But quite clearly, he is offside there. Gets the jump. Even win the own line. Damien McKenzie has the final say. Bashes it over the touchline. And this is a very good win for the unbeaten Waikato side. The defending champions with their first win over Auckland since 2017. Their first in Hamilton since 2013. And a very strong second half performance after a tight first half. Sees them take it by 30 to 15.